Neil's been with us here at Widden for quite a number of years now, and he actually used to live here with his wife, who he was quite devoted to and spent a lot of time with his wife. That's yeah. nice and firm. All right, pull up a pew. Neil's got a long oh mental gosh, health history. He has a mental health yeah. diagnosis. He hasn't always been a painter. That, that <laughs> painting journey was discovered along the way, quite by chance. See how it's a bit taller? Yeah. Maybe bring him up a bit higher. We've really been able to use his art to sort of to bring him back into his usual patterns again. That's been a really wonderful um, thing for Neil. I said, when I have art classes, I said, beauty, I'll go and do it. <laughs> We've been able to concentrate on his art and, and really bring that back in um, to the, really make a big, major focus on his life as a daily activity for him to help him through this difficult time in his life. I find it quite relaxing. That's it. it really is not just a team approach here at Widden, but there's other people also having input into that and, and learning and growing from that process of relationship-based care and how important it is for behaviours. They're really keen to see how we use the art to help Neil on his journey. Right. So we've decided we're just going to keep working on this fella and try yeah. and bulk him up a bit, okay? Yeah, right. Mm. Neil's done... Just look around. Mm. Yeah, we've done scenes and animals. Birds, yeah. news. What haven't we done? There's purpose in it, there's something in it and a sense of achievement and just when Neil comes back and it's framed and he, st he goes around everybody and shows all the staff and you know and explains what it is and he's even gifted some of his artwork to people you know things that photographs that people have brought in and I actually have one on my wall at home yeah which is beautiful yeah. I love doing it. Neil is very passionate about his art. He's the first one here and the last one to leave.